Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to create an eye splice and three strand nylon rope. Now we get it, there's a lot of different splicing tutorials out there and that's mainly because splicing is somewhat of an art. But hopefully in today's video, you're going to learn some great techniques on how to create an awesome splice and three strand rope. If you're looking to add to your splicing skills, head over to our 12 strand splicing tutorial where we go through two splices that are great for Dyneema type cordage. First, some advice. Splicing takes practice. And so if your first splice does not come out absolutely perfect, don't stress about it. You can unravel it and try again. Weaving the tucks through the dead strands is a common mistake. So when you begin tucking the strands, make sure that you focus on the standing end. Lastly, if you happen to have missed any of the steps in the video, check out the time code in the video description where you can go back and look at the steps you may have missed. You're going to need a length of three strand rope. Today, we're using half inch nylon, a lighter or heat gun, a pair of sharp scissors, and electrical tape. If you're just beginning, it's a good idea to have three colors of tape on hand. First, measure the berry length. If you're using a synthetic rope like we are, you'll want to make sure that the berry length is long enough to make five full rounds of tucks. Count out 15 picks from the end and wrap that point with a piece of tape. Unravel the strands and seize each strand with tape. At this point, you can choose to melt the ends for easier tucking. After your ends are seized, determine how wide the eye will be. Place another piece of tape around the spot where you want the rope to be joined. Next, you'll want to lay the rope on a flat surface and place the dead end on top of the standing end. You will be able to identify the middle strand by how the rope naturally lays. We found it easiest to hold the rope with the loop pointed towards you since you'll be working in a circular motion from right to left. Take the middle strand and tuck it through whichever pick makes the most sense and pull it through. Rotate the rope clockwise and then take the left strand and tuck it through the next pick over from the first. The last strand will be the right strand from the beginning. Pull it over towards the next pick and pull it through. The third tuck in a sequence is where many make their first mistake. Make sure you're going over just one pick of the standing end and then under the next pick. Pull the strands tight and go back to the first strand you tucked. You'll be going over one pick and then under one other pick. Rotate the rope and do the same to the next strand, over one pick and under one pick. It's easy to get confused with the dead end of the rope when tucking. Just remember to focus on the standing end of the rope. Every time you complete a set of tucks, make sure that the dead ends are tightened and still twisting in the correct direction.
Once all five sets of tucks are complete, you should have some of the dead strands sticking out of the splice. Go ahead and tighten all of the dead strands. Then pull on the eye splice to tighten everything up. A great tip to really make sure that the splice is secure is to take the splice and roll it out like a rolling pin. If it doesn't look right, it probably isn't. This is a great time to unravel the splice and try again. Remove all of the tape from the splice and then finally trim up and melt the dead ends. This splice is strong and versatile, making it a great one to have in your back pocket. We know that splicing eyes and rope can be really complicated. So if this video helped you understand how to do a three strand eye splice, let us know in the comments and feel free to give this video a like. I'm Tyler with E-Rigging. Thanks for watching.